In today's exclusive video, we're veering off the beaten path to uncover a vessel that captivates in its own unique way. Feast your eyes on a 38.2 meter steel livable boat that was built in 1951 with a formidable six millimeter thick steel hull. Transformed into an opulent liverboard, this maritime gem isn't just for leisure. She's powered by a single robust 175 horsepower Gardner engine for real nautical exploration. And for those looking to seize an extraordinary opportunity, well, this boat is currently listed for sale. Before we take a look around this very unique boat, please don't forget to give the video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. As we delve further into this converted Belgian Spitz, you'll find four private cabins below deck, each featuring its own bathroom. The main living area boasts a 3.5 metre ceiling, making it feel less like a boat and more like a floating loft. As you'll see during the tour in the stern, there's an independent studio, ideal for Airbnb ventures. But this livable boat isn't just about aesthetics. Newly certified and freshly painted, its six millimeter steel hull is designed for durability and clad in an epoxy system. So whether you envision this as your next home on the water or as a boutique river cruiser, it's outfitted and ready for the journey ahead. Speaking of journeys, if you're thinking of planning your own nautical journey, then make sure you check out Ian McNeil's book. I'll leave a link in the video description with a discount code. As we set sail into the heart of this vessel, behold the galley, an exquisite fusion of form and function. On the port side of this galley, we find some countertops and plenty of space to stow away the dinnerware. Forward of the galley, you discover a cozy snug, perfect for intimate gatherings or tranquil solitude. Back in the galley, you'll find an array of appliances tailored for the modern seafarer, an induction cooktop, dual electric hot air ovens from Bosch and Neff, and a Bosch extractor to keep the atmosphere fresh. As we move forward and then pan back into the galley, just look at how spacious this area is and how high the ceilings are. No matter how long you spend aboard this boat, you will never feel cramped or claustrophobic. The next part of the boat that I want to show you is the boat's office, an epicenter of functionality bathed in natural light thanks to the expansive window in here. Here you'll find an inviting chair and desk setup, ideal for charting out work tasks or penning your maritime memoirs. Overhead, the high ceilings impart a sense of boundless space, a sentiment echoed by an abundance of storage options. And beneath your feet, feel the comfort of plush carpet, a luxurious touch for those long nights at sea, pouring over charts or simply unwinding. Through this door, we find a toilet and a shower. In fact, if an owner wanted to, then there's no reason why this area could not be turned into another spacious cabin. Personally, if I owned this fantastic boat, then I'd want to keep this area as a workspace. But what would you do? Let me know in the comments below. Before I forget, I've set up a brand new channel on WhatsApp so I can share more information with you, obviously to do with boats and anything else related to boats. If you want to join in, then click on the link in the video description. It's completely free of charge. As we navigate deeper into this seafaring sanctuary, we drop anchor at the first cabin, a tranquil haven that bellies its maritime setting. One step inside and you might think you've disembarked and entered a charming landlocked residence. Decked out in soothing shades of blue, this space offers the utmost in nautical elegance. This cabin does come complete with its own spacious ensuite, ensuring privacy and convenience as you traverse the waterways with your guests. As we head back into the bedroom, a generously sized double bed beckons positioned beneath a large porthole that captures the sun's rays with another expansive window amplifying the natural daylight. But that's not all. From the moment you set foot in here, you're wrapped in a cocoon of comfort and style, making it almost easy to forget that you're actually afloat. 
As we navigate to the master cabin, notice the practical features that make this space both functional and inviting. A large bed, abundant storage with mirrored locker doors, and high ceilings that invite ample natural light into the space. In the bathroom, we find a sizable shower and a bath that beckons for a soak. Dual sinks make morning routines effortless, each paired with its own lit vanity mirror. And of course, let's not overlook the generous portal inviting daylight to illuminate this elegant space. But for me personally, I love the size of this shower, which really could constitute its own wet room within a bathroom because it is so big. If you'd like me to feature more boats like this on my channel, then let me know in the comments. Moving forward, we find the laundry room with an AEG 8 kilogram washing machine and matching dryer standing ready for duty. While thoughtfully designed storage accommodates an ironing board and offers an airing cupboard as well. As I show you the day head, let's talk about the boat's tankage. She's got a 5,500 litre stainless steel freshwater tank, a 1,200 litre steel blackwater tank, and an 800 litre grey water tank all monitored by tank tender. The black water can be conveniently emptied through deck extraction or via a pump. This staircase takes you up onto the vast main deck, which we will have a look at in a minute. Now we find ourselves at the bow of the boat and in here we've got another twin single cabin with its own ensuite. Personally, for me, if I lived aboard this boat, then this would be the perfect cabin for my two children so that when they're arguing me and my wife won't hear nothing from the comfort of our midships cabin. As we make our way now from bow to aft so we can go and have a look around the upper deck including checking out the wheelhouse and the engine room let's delve into the bones of this Belgian built beauty from Meryl Becky. She was constructed back in 1951 so she's seen more than seven decades pass by. Yet, with a 6mm thick steel superstructure and a flat bottom hull, she's as sturdy as ever. Her displacement, in case you were wondering, is a solid 184 tonnes. Now, consider her dimensions. A beam of just over 5 metres and a draft of 1.1 metres. That's a well-balanced vessel. When it comes to her air draft, she has a maximum air draft of 4.02 metres, but it can be reduced to 3.3 metres when needed. And I'm sure as I showed you around the boat's interior, you would have seen those striking portholes, 12 antique French liner brass fixtures, each 38 centimetres across, complete with privacy covers. The window frames on the boat are aluminium, and we've got double glazing to keep you comfortable in all conditions. The hot water system runs on 220 volts, stores 200 litres and works efficiently even on the inverter. As we head out onto the deck on the port side, the first thing you'll notice is its electric 750 kilogram capacity deck crane. Despite how it looks from this angle, you feel very safe as you walk around the upper deck thanks to the handrail that basically reaches around the entire coach roof. Another feature that I really like on the upper deck is this space. What a perfect place to sit with your family and friends as you relax and enjoy the picturesque views. If you've spent any time in Canary Wharf in London, then you probably would recognise this boat as she spent quite a few years docked up right in the centre of the Canary Wharf complex next to all of the restaurants and bars that you find over there. When it comes to her anchors, she's got three in total, two Danforth anchors on the bow, and you probably would have noticed at the beginning of this video, the huge anchor located on the stern of the vessel as well. As we head back aft along the port side, let's talk a little bit more about some of the other features on board this boat. In total, she's got two gangways on board, which for a boat of this size is really handy. I personally would probably have one up forward, and another one aft. It's also worth pointing out that the boat is fully insulated with rock wall as well. So if you're operating the boat in colder climates, at least you know all of the valuable heat that's gonna be inside the boat isn't gonna escape easily. 
Now, before we check out the engine room, which I will admit took me a bit of time to find the door to, even though we're passing it now, let's go into the wheelhouse and have a look around this traditional 1950s wheelhouse. As we step into the wheelhouse, you'll notice it is equipped with a nostalgic array of navigation and communication gadgets. Starting with orientation, there's both a NASA magnetic compass and an electric compass integrated into the Sigma 650 autopilot system. The depth of your journey is easily tracked thanks to a Garmin depth sounder and even a fish finder for those who fancy a catch. Speaking of comms, VHF options abound with a Sailor RT144, an ICOM ICM411 and for portability there's a handheld ICOM unit. There's also an autopilot, a rudder angle indicator, a Garmin radar, as well as a Garmin plotter and GPS. Another part of this boat that I really want to show you is this, the studio. Now, the current owners of the vessel actually rented this part of the boat out, which is a really great idea because the revenue generated from renting this space helped to contribute towards the costs of running the boat. As you saw, it has its own entrance, via the pilot's house, which is good because if you do rent this area out, it means that anybody renting it won't have to disturb you in the main living area. Of course, it's not configured this way at the moment, but if you wanted to, you could turn this area into the fourth cabin on board, because over here it's got its own ensuite, complete with shower. Again, talking personally, if I owned this boat, then this would be the perfect area for me to convert into a studio so I could carry on bringing you these videos as me and my family cruise around the various waterways around Europe. But if you own this boat, what would you do with this space and what would you do with the boat? Let me know in the comments below. But now we get to the part of the video that I know many of you have been waiting for. Let's go and have a look around the vast engine room. And this is another area that I'm sure is going to really impress you. Next, we come to the huge engine room. Powering this boat is a Gardner 8L XB engine with 175 horsepower, updated in 2011. With a max speed of nine knots and a cruising speed of 7.5 knots, she's as efficient as she is elegant consuming only 19 litres of fuel per hour and boasting a range of around 1,500 nautical miles. The gearbox is a hydraulic twin disc installed in 2007 for those tighter berthing manoeuvres and electric side power bow thruster provides additional control. The exhaust is water cooled for maximum efficiency. The boat has a fixed bronze propeller with four blades renewed in 2018 connected to a stainless steel shaft that's lubricated by grease. To keep everything dry down here, there's an integrated build system featuring one manual and three electric pumps, along with alarms for both the engine room and the main hold. What do you think of the engine room? Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to say a massive thank you to Devault Yacht Brokers for letting me come down and film this amazing boat. If you're interested in finding out more about her at the time of uploading this video, she is listed for sale. I'll leave more details in the link in the video description. If you haven't already, don't forget to give the video a like. Also remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you've got access to a boat you'd like me to feature, then feel free to get in contact with me. I'll leave my contact details in the video description. And don't forget to come and follow me on Instagram as well. I'll keep you up to date with what I'm doing in between filming and where I'm going next. Until next time, fair winds and following seas. Thanks for watching and as always, I'd like to say a huge thank you to my channel members for supporting my YouTube channel. 
If you'd like to join them in becoming a member of my channel, you'll get access to exclusive content as well as some other benefits and features as well. To find out more, you've guessed it, head to the link in the video description. If you are interested in getting into Yacht Broken, then I have some exciting news for you. I've teamed up with David Seal, a yachting industry veteran with nearly 30 years of experience to bring you the Yacht Broker Masterclass. This course is a game changer. It's perfect for transforming your personal life and professional career. Are you a successful real estate agent looking for a new challenge? Maybe you're passionate about yachts and want to turn it into a career. David's course is specifically designed to provide you with the skills, network and confidence you need to succeed in this unique and rewarding industry. And guess what? If you use my special discount code YachtBoy, you get an exclusive 10% off. Don't miss out, click on the link in the video description to enroll and elevate your career.